I think the event of the year, um, we got to factor everything, okay? We got to factor in how big the event was. At least I do. How big was the event? How much did it sell? How much did it generate? It's an event, right? Uh, maybe factor in the undercard a little bit, the hype move into the the hype going into the fight. Um, and then we also got to factor in did it deliver uh, how, the night itself, the aftermath of it, the significance of it, how it's going to age. Got to factor in all those things. Um, got to be honest, Canelo Charlo kind of fell short with that in, in many respects. Um, and that was mainly due to Charlo. Um, so it's got to put that out there. Even though Ryan Garcia and Tang Davis was the highest grossing event of the year and it did over a million and, and somebody could definitely say that's the event of the year. And if you're just a numbers guy straight up, that's it. I get it. Um, their reckoning was, uh, you know, a, a big event as well, as, at least for us hardcore boxing fans. And But I have to go with Crawford versus Spence. Well, it did do close to 700,000. It did do over 20 million at the gate. So, so the numbers are respectable, very respectable. Um, but uh, although the fight didn't live up to a, it wasn't like a historical fight. It was a historical beatdown. It was a historical um, significant fight in terms of the performance of Terrence Crawford. Um, it, it's going to, be up there with like when Salvador Sanchez beat up Gomez, for example. It's always going to live in infamy, and that is a moment I will never forget. I, and it, it was a fight we waited a long time to get. So, to me, in my humble opinion, my award for the event of the year is going to go to Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence Jr. Um, from the lead up to the aftermath and, and its effect moving forward in boxing. Um, it's something that we're going to have to talk about for years. Shout out to Remy. What